Okay. So my name is Victory Osarum Wense. I'm a creative writer, I'm a performance poet, and I am passionate about financial literacy because I've been in that position where I was so, just totally clueless about financial jargons, not being able to participate properly in conversations. And I just feel like that there's that gap where people like where people don't really know how to understand these financial things. And that's why I even started Financial Jaga Jaga in the first place. A platform where I get to just talk about financial terms, financial news in the simplest of ways. So today I'll be having my friend, super smart, everything, Tobey. So Tobey, please introduce yourself. All right. Thanks for having me, Victory. My name is Tobey Chukwikwe. Okay. I work in a financial institution and... I go into the finance world and maybe as recently as two years ago, and it's really interesting. And when Victor started this um, <laughs> web, web mini series, it was, I, was, I reached out to her that it's a really good idea for people that are not, I don't know, financially savvy to learn the basics and understand what's going on in the whole financial world in simple terms. <laughs> so today we decided to put this together for everyone okay so nice introduction um do you remember we were supposed to do this early may do you remember yeah, yeah i remember i reached out to you that time that um earlier in may when you started it, that um all about this idea that this the, the new finance act 2020 that was approved and started um became enforced in february and not a lot of people, yeah. not a lot of people know about it. That it would be nice to enlighten if we, people, the average man, yeah. on your financial jaga jaga yeah. uh, segment, yeah. and we need to so, be relevant today. Exactly, the truth of the matter is, so Toby reached out to me, and he was like, "Oh, there's this thing, a new finance, finance act 2020, and that there's something called stamp duty." And then a lot of people are getting debited. So um, it's something we should talk about. So we bring, we did it. We did it some research. We brainstormed. And then we just decided that we didn't have enough talking points on this particular topic. And to be honest, in my mind, it was kind of boring, right? So we just decided that, you know what, let's, let's pen this thing so we have enough talking points. And also um, probably sometime later, so I actually didn't know it was going to be such a relevant conversation, but yeah, here we are. Um, Emeka is saying you can't see. Toby, I can't see you. Are you okay. sure your Are you sure your camera is set in the selfie way? Yeah, it is. It is right now. So you can see yourself. I can see myself. I can see you. Okay. I can see the chat. Can you attempt attempt to flip the screen? That is um. Just do as if you're flipping it to the or to the back camera I'll fl and then I'll flip, flip, it, flip it back. Wow. Uh I don't know. What mm -hmm. say you? People, what do we do? I guess we just go we should just go ahead just and go with my voice. Is it that there's no I think there's no light, that's why it's black, right? No, I, you don't have light, right? Th there's lights. I can see my face. Mm. Okay, yeah. that's strange. Okay, so guys, before we get into it, I have a little challenge, like an icebreaker. Please don't stole that for me, guys. So, as an African child in an African home, when you wake up in the morning and you are, you have a particular thing that you're supposed to do, right? Let's say it's it, that thing you let's say you're supposed to wash the plate every day. What's that called? Um, I think it's called. Do you understand? Duty. I think it's called your duty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then the second thing is wait, <clears throat> hold on. What's this? What would you call this? The things on the paper. Uh, stamps. Exactly. So stamp duty. Don't leave oh, me. Really. <laughs> Victory, don't leave me. Stamp duty. Oh my god! <laughs> don't leave me! Don't leave me! <laughs> no one is laughing, Seb. That is laugh now. That's the way, that's that's the the way to <laughs> okay, guys. So, I mean, to be honest, the first time I heard about stamp duty, let me tell you what came to my mind. 
I actually pictured an international passport being stamped at the airport. And then there's like some tax related to that. Guys, I'm not even joking. That's what I thought stamp it meant. But thank be to God Almighty that that's not what I think anymore. I have been educated and I have been cured from <laughs> ignorance. So now I actually know what stamp it is. So before this live session, a lot of people, please guys, don't leave me now. So guys, a lot of people were asking me, what, what, what stamp duty? What does it mean? I mean, I share my thoughts, but to be, I just want you to sort of take me as the average Nigerian. I don't really understand. I, I'm just seeing stamp duty everywhere. Internet, oh. stamp duty, charge, stamp duty. So can you just explain to me what is the stamp duty? Is it, is it my passport? Is it, is it, is that stamp duty? Tell me. Uh, um, first of all, I'm an average Nigerian too, so. <laughs> oh, I'll try <sure>. my best. <laughs> um, for stamp duty really is just a form of tax on like that are levied on government documents or transactions. So historically, like in the past, when mm -hmm. you do, when you need a government a government document, like maybe you, you buy land or government approves land from you for it to be legal, okay. this this mm -hmm. the government stamps it, and then you pay okay. for that stamp. So that document becomes legally binding. So that's where the stamp duty came from. So it's a form of tax for different and, things, receipts, okay. checks, okay. land transactions, marriage mm -hmm. certificates. So literally, I don't know if anyone has been to the to the court and you tell them you want to um, maybe get something, they tell you, you need to pay for stamp. That is also a form of stamp duty. Oh, oh, so oh, your, oh, your passport oh, oh, oh. that is stamped. Wisdom. It's, stamp. it's, first of, so it's actually stamp duty that you're paying for. It's tax that um, it's a form of tax that the government uses to raise revenue. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So, from what you're saying now, that means it's, it's this whole stamping of passports, the stamp duty is not so far from that now. It's Since we're stamping. stamping. Yeah. So, the, okay. the, um, um, nowadays, there are some forms of stamp duty that are not literally stamps anymore because we have electronic transactions now. So, um, okay. stamp duty has been extended to cover that, like, electronic receipts and stuff like that you, they still charge mm -hmm. a stamp duty on it even though they're okay. not actually stamping it okay so typically what, what, what I understand from what you've told me now is that normally there are documents right deed of yeah. assignment C of O that yeah. you need to stamp and then you pay some money to, to get that stamp on it to yeah, make it exactly. official why, why do you get your document stamp is it to make it official or what do you do yeah, have any to make idea it, to make it official legally binding like so the government recognizes that document the government has stamped it that is now like is registered with the government and is now legally binding is enforceable that is in your name whatever okay. you got stamped maybe a marriage certificate or your dinner mm -hmm. assignment or c of o if the government stamps mm -hmm. it at the government office and you paid for it it's now legally mm -hmm. binding oh i see i see i see okay so um Okay, so what about, like, I know that personally, I've gotten some alerts recently with description stamp duty. So if you are telling me now that stamp duty is for documents, why am I getting debit alert stamp duty? How, what, what's really good? I don't really get it. So um, the stamp duty covers a lot of things and a lot of countries, they, they extend it to different areas. Some countries is literally just on land transactions, they charge a stamp duty, but some countries they charge mm -hmm. on, on lots of um, different kinds of documents, even electronic receipts, okay. like when you transfer money electronically, they charge it. Okay. I think a country like okay, Ireland so charges okay. stamp duty on their electronic transfers. So, so Nigeria mm -hmm. also toes that line of charging okay. stamp duty on transfers. So okay, some so countries you... actually... Excuse me, sorry for interrupting. Some countries actually no, changed no, it to a transaction duty. They renamed it transaction duty because this stamp duty always confuses modern day people. Like, what's why is it called stamp duty? So some countries actually renamed it to transaction duty. Transaction duty. Oh, I see. Because yeah. I mean, the word stamp duty doesn't really cut it for me. If I'm getting deducted, I don't see because it's not like I'm stamping any document. So why am I getting charged? Do you get? So um, yeah, Emeka is saying. So it's like a tax for receipts, right? Yes. 
Okay, and then someone is saying you should speak loud that we we are not seeing your voice, lol. <laughs> I'll try to. Okay, mm-hmm. someone someone just dropped a very um, insightful comment. The person said any memorandum of understanding or agreements without the stamp duty is that also legally binding? I mean, um so for something question. to for something to be legally binding. I'm not a lawyer, but there are levels to this thing. If you have an MOU with somebody or an agreement mm-hmm. and it's just two of you that mm-hmm. agree within yourselves, I mean you can take it to court and fight it when whoever yeah. comes out on top comes out on top. But if you took it to the government and the government stamped it, whoever's name it is mm-hmm. in, there's no question about that. If you take it to court, you're telling someone's name and stand by the court. So that's what it's about. Okay, so uh, let's we've, been, we've talked about Ireland, all these places. Uh, uh, uh. So what about Nigeria now? Like, I'm just trying to understand. So Nigeria decided that in addition to stamping of documents, they want to start yeah. charging stamp duty on electronic transfers. By electronic, you mean mm-hmm. mobile? Like when you when I transfer money to someone else's account, right? That's what you mean, Ex- right? Exactly. So how is it? How does it work here in Nigeria? That mm-hmm. electronic transfer. How does it work in Nigeria? The so, stamp duty on electronic transfer. So in the new finance act, um, the stamp duty on electronic transfer has actually, uh, has actually existed before now, but it just used to be on current accounts that is to charge the stamp okay, duty. Let me just let me rephrase that question. So when I say how does it work, I'm asking like how much, how mm-hmm. often. How yeah, large? I'm, How yeah, big? I'm going, get, I'm going to get there. So before, okay, okay. it used to be 1,000. For every um, deposit above 1,000 naira into your current account, they charge you for it. They stamp you. How much? 15 naira. See, you're saying that it used to be when? In this Nigeria? Yeah, in this Nigeria. But not, not lots of people. Not many people have current accounts. So not many people knew about it anyway. So, like in Nigeria, I have a current. It was only on current accounts, and then for every movie account. above one thousand, they will charge 1, 000, me. Was it fifteen? Yeah. I'm not. Oh, wow. uh, the audience can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like twenty-five naira or so, or fifteen naira. I'm not. I can't remember the exact figure. I think okay. it's like twenty-five naira. Correct me okay, if I'm but, wrong. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any anybody, please correct him if he's wrong in terms of what the stamp duty was before. But let's talk about now, today. Like, what's really what's the issue now? So now, as from February this year, the government mm. reviewed the stamp duty charges to 50 naira on every electronic transfer receipt. So if you receive a transfer of 10,000 naira and above, for each transfer of 10,000 naira above, you pay a charge of 50 naira called stamp duty. It's one of the stamp. It's one of the taxes under the Stamp Duty Act. There are many of them, but the electronic transfer is okay. one of them. So you are saying that if I so if, if I'm I... transferring ten thousand to because I did I read online about the stamp you say thing. If I'm transferring ten thousand to somebody else's account or somebody is paying ten thousand to my account, they will charge fifty naira. Yes. So if I transfer ten thousand to you, Victory, your mm-hmm. bank is supposed to de- deduct fifty naira from it, and send that fifth naira to FIRS, which is the Federal Inland Revenue Service on behalf of the federal government. That's what happens. Wow. So, so from what I'm understanding now, I'm just trying to think about it because why exactly, why, why am I paying? So, so for example, now, if I, if I give somebody 10,000 naira, right? Yeah. When the, when the money goes to the person, they remove 15 naira. If the person is left yes. with somebody, a friend, but, a friend begs me and say, "A big tree, I'm broke. I need money. I transfer ten k to the person. When the person gets it, they take fifteen naira. When the person now pays me back, they will take fifteen naira again." Yes. So this wow. doesn't apply to if you transfer in between your own account. So if you have an account in the same bank and you transfer from mm-hmm. Victory account one to Victory account two, they won't charge you. But if you transfer from okay. Victory account one in Bank A to Victory account mm-hmm. in Bank B, they will charge you. Okay, okay, okay. So if I'm transferring to my, let's say I have two accounts with one bank, I can transfer freely. With maybe yes. I have a savings account in one bank, I can transfer freely. They won't charge me. 
Yes. But if I now want to move from this account to another account, let's say an account in another bank, they will charge me. Yeah, exactly. And also, if I'm transferring to somebody in in my account in my bank, but the person is not you. me, they will charge, they will charge me. You. So the only yeah. way I can escape this stamp duty now is only if I'm moving money from my two accounts. I'm just the money is just moving from or, from me to. Or you make all your transactions nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine naira. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Whether I should call that wisdom or <laughs> something else. So you do, you oh. don't get charged again. Someone is saying, but who has two accounts with one bank? Well, me, I do. Hmm. I have a savings and a current account with one bank. People, yeah, have, lots of people have two accounts with one bank. Hmm. Okay. So let me see. So I'm just trying to understand. This thing started in in February. Was there something that really prompted it? Like, did the government just sit down and say, "Let's start"? Because what you are trying, what you are telling me now is that for on every ten thousand, I'm paying fifteen naira. Do you know what that means? So it means if I transfer five hundred k in ten ten thousand, that will be like fifty transfers, and I'll be paying like two five. Two five, yes. So yeah, if and you transfer five hundred thousand fifty times. 50 times 50, that's 25. And you pay as some duty to the federal government. Wow. Okay. And then if it's 5K, if it's like 1 million, I'll be paying 5K. Yes. Just for moving money. Yeah, just for moving why, money. Why, why, why is the government trying or, or like why? It seems like they're really trying to increase taxes. It, looks, it seems like they're just, because this is going to make life harder, really. Because my... And just because I transfer money, I'm paying stamp duty. It's quite annoying. So why is the government doing this? Our in your opinion, is, in our opinion, government is just trying to raise revenue. So first of all, for most, for well, for some governments around the world, um, it is believed that tax should be the major source of revenue. While in countries like um, Ghana, in West Africa, yeah, mm. tax accounts for 80% of their revenue. In South Africa, is 98%. Oh. But in Nigeria, tax accounts okay. for only 40% of our revenue. That is tax from other business sources. So Nigeria, obviously, as we all, most of us know, depends on oil revenue for the other source of revenue for the country. But the government has said mm-hmm. that it's not so it's not sufficient for it's not sustainable, con- it's not it's it's not, not enough. And it's not the you know the way the global economy is now the the oil prices are not really within your control, but you can control taxes, exactly. right? You exactly. can control taxes. So for example, mm-hmm. a country like um Canada, they produce five million barrels of oil per day. And if okay. for example, they are selling an hundred dollars per barrel. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get $500 million per day. But, uh, mm. but they have a population of only 37 million people. Nigeria okay. produces $2 million, of, $2 million barrels of oil per day, 2 to 2.5, depending on the production capacity at that point in time. And the population is 200 million people. So the government has wow. said that the money we're making is not enough for what we want to do. So just like every individual, like you and I, someone that mm-hmm. has... 10 children is thinking of ways to make more money take care of the 10 children as someone that has two children. So yeah, that one, makes of reasons, sense. one of the reasons they raised the stamp duty and um, they implemented the stamp duty act to, to, to raise. So, so, okay. So, okay. So because you know, you mentioned earlier that this stamp duty is part of the 2020 finance act, right? Yes. So what me yes. know about the 2020 finance act is that it's like a revised, a revision when the government came together and they said that, oh, let's let's look at all the taxes we have and let's revise them to ensure that we make enough money from taxation and also to ensure that everybody pays tax. So they're trying to reduce tax avoidance, tax evasion. They want to ensure that everybody's paying tax one way or the other, right? Because when, when I looked at that 2020 Finance Act, I realized that it's not just stamp duty that they changed. They increased VAT, for example, from 5% yes. to 75 
Yeah. They increase com- they change company income tax, personal income tax, um excise. So there were there were a lot of changes. So it, I think what you're saying is actually very right in terms of the aim being just to raise revenue because yeah, that was- that's just to you just put it bluntly there just to raise revenue that's what the government has been that's what the government is trying to do with this all these revisions the vats that you mentioned some people might know about it but it used to be um five percent before they increased it to seven point five percent and that is also mm-hmm. under the finance act to raise revenue mm. although um this is not the first time they are trying to increase the vats in two thousand seven before former president Obasanjo left office. He increased it to 10%. But after protest and pressure from Nigerian labor, um, the next mm. president, Yaradua, reduced it back to 5%. And the 5% is 1993. So, wow. Um, yeah. And in um, countries around us, VAT is 20% in UK. In Norway, VAT is 25%. In Please Ghana, don't VAT say around us. UK and, and yeah, so UK. those are those are developed countries. So, so let me let me bring it back. Let, let me bring it down. Um, in Ghana, VAT is twelve point five percent. In in South Africa, is fourteen percent. Kenya, sixteen percent. So Nigerians are not even paying tax when you compare to a lot of other countries around the world. And the other so Nigerians. Who side are you on? Are you on the government <laughs> side or are you on the people's side? You should be a voice I, of the people. I'm just putting all the options on the table so that everyone can understand both sides of the argument. But and, um, <laughs> so to to continue, Nigerians will say that um, all the tax I'm paying, what is the world and what services am I getting? So then Nigerians should just demand to see the money they are paying put to good use. That's all. Hmm. Anyway, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so I think. Um, B dropped a, a very insightful comment. Let me look for it. He said, aside from raising revenue, it's another way of increasing the tax bracket. Can you throw some light on that, Toby? So Nigeria has one of the lowest um, tax compliance rates in the world. And that's because... Our, um, Let me just pause you there now. Like, come on, tax compliance. People mm-hmm. ang- people don't understand financial jargons here. <laughs> Tax, so tax compliance, compliance, like, tax, tax compliance just basically means um, the number of people that pay tax. And that's because okay. Nigeria's economy is largely informal. A lot of people are not in the organized sector. And, uh, the informal mm-hmm. sector makes up about 65 to 70% of Nigeria's GDP. So Nigeria has always is, uh, they've not been able to come up with a solution to capture tax from that informal sector. Okay, so are you saying we should be clapping for them since this is so, so this, innovative? So, in, so increasing the tax bracket, as B mentioned, is like many of us that had only savings accounts and they have current accounts, we are not paying any tax before, right? So <laughs> by, oh, by including yeah, savings yeah. accounts, they've included all the people that they know is to pay tax. Yeah, to start yeah. paying tax. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. So, so let me just do a brief recap because I have a feeling some people join me the way. Um, hi, Tomiwa. Hi, Oreva. Um, Kim, uh, so yes, Freda Diva and Ugo. Some people just joined, so that was like a very quick. I don't even know whether I can do recap of everything you've said, child, but yeah. So we've talked about what stamp duty is. Um, explained that it is not international passport that they are stamping. That stamp duty, right? We it, so to be explained to us that this stamp duty is actually um government. So you, for example, there are some documents like land documents and all of those things that you have to like make legal and you pay for to stamp those documents. However, there's another kind of stamp duty where that the government is trying to tax from, um, take from people who transfer money from one account to the other. And in Nigeria, it is 15 Naira for every transfer that is above 10,000 Naira. And and the way the way we understand it is that if I have two accounts in one bank, I'm moving it from my savings account to my current account. I won't be charged that stamp duty. But once I'm moving that money out of my bank to another bank, right? Then they they will charge me stamp duty. Or if I'm transferring to someone else in my bank that has an account, come on now, guys. <laughs> 
I wish I joined midway. Imagine <laughs> no hand to me. Uh uh now. <laughs> hi Eric. Hi Emeka. Hi Ugo. Hi 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 everybody. So, hmm, what am I going to ask now? I mean guys, you can drop in, you can drop your questions. Drop your questions. Drop like just be asking questions because we are all trying to understand the situation. Because in fact, Seth, I'm even trying to understand. Are you telling me that I say okay, now I have a perfect question. So, um to be how do yeah, you think man. this thing works? Because you you seem to say you you you've told us that the essence of them doing it is to raise revenue. Nigeria depends so much on crude oil, right? And now they are yeah. trying to increase the amount of money they get from taxation. So that's why they yeah. revised 2020 Finance Act. They changed so many things, increased VAT, in um, stamp duty. Before stamp duty was on only current account. Now they put it on savings account. B said that it's to widen the tax bracket to ensure that more people are paying tax, right? All of these things will increase revenue for the government. But what do you think will happen to the average Nigerian man? What do you think will happen? How what is the effect? So the 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 effect should be ideally that this increase so revenue you. this increase in revenue should translate to more um physical infrastructure development for Nigerians. That is what it should be. Because I mean, it makes sense that the government is getting more money, and they can do more things with the money to improve education, improve health, improve infrastructure. That is what um, should that is what should happen. But Nigeria, the average to Nigerian would, to make life better for the average Nigerian, the average Nigerian will okay. tell you that which one should come first? Is it the chicken or the egg? All the money I've paid, yeah. what have they done with it? So that's what they ask you. Exactly. If they're exactly. not the one I've given them, well, why are they collecting more from me? So I, it, mm-hmm. it's, it's a delicate situation because you feel like the ones I've given them, they're not using it well. Why am I giving them more? But they'll tell you that they okay. need more to do more things. So we're caught in the middle of a rock and a, a, rock and a hard place. Hmm. Madu, that's, that's analogies like the cocoa, a rock and a very hard place. Yeah. To be the poet. <laughs> so for me asked a question. Okay, no, let me let me just read this. But how come I get taxed when I receive? Yeah, it's when you That's receive that you get question. taxed. It's when you receive but that you get taxed. When I, transfer, when I transfer money above ten K, they will tax me too now. Yes, yeah, so So I know, pay, <laughs> I receive, I pay. They tax <laughs> so, me that way. Yeah, if if you receive so, pay, if you transfer money, if you transfer you pay. If you, when you transfer, um, they they charge you for transferring. When you receive that money, mm-hmm. they, they charge you for that. So the people wow. that implemented the electronic transfer charges are uh, is that was that is mostly regulated by CBN. So CBN is the one that had reduced the transfer charges earlier this year to to ten naira for ten thousand and below, and twenty five naira from ten thousand to fifty thousand and all that. But this other stamp duty one, the one you receive is for the federal government. That money goes to the federal government. The one where you transfer and you they they, they add charge additional ten naira or twenty five naira or fifteen naira. That one is shared by different people. So the, you have the settlement agencies between banks, the um, clearing houses that all take a portion of that charge. So that one is regulated by CBN for people for people that provide the transfer the electronic transfer services. Okay, okay. So now, what you are saying is that it doesn't now mean that because now there's stamp duty, every time I get a lot and they debit me, it's automatically stamp duty. There are different kinds of debits. There's the stamp duty one, which is fifteen naira for every transfer or receipt of ten thousand naira and above. Then yes. there's the other charge now explained that goes to different people. So this yeah. stamp duty is it? Is it the bank that is going to collect? Is it going to? Form part of the profit of the bank, or it's going directly to the government. It doesn't. It doesn't belong to any bank at all. The bank is just a tax collector because their the accounts are domiciled in their operations. As part of their operations, it is their responsibility to collect the money and give it to the federal government. So every bank. So if they, the they don't collect the money, what will happen? There, there will be sanctions or appropriate levies against the bank any bank that feels to collect that money because it is against the law to 
to avoid tax and not pay it. So someone that the, it is the law. So if you are disobeying the law, you are going to be sanctioned appropriately by any regulating body. So, oh, wow. Well, thanks so that, for that question. Okay. Keep talking, please. So this is why everyone should be interested in what is happening around them because this law was literally passed by the National Assembly and signed by the President. If if you could maybe pressure your political we leaders. Have like, so, do we have a say? Do we have a say? First of all, many people are not even aware of what was going on. Not to talk about what they say. If you are not aware, if you are not aware, you cannot have a say of 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 in in what is happening. So people should try to okay. be more informed. Okay, so now me, I'm just saying that I've made a personal commitment. Like I, I already told you the journey, why I started financial jaga jaga, how I always felt clueless and all of that. But if I'm making a decision now that I want to be informed, I want to know like when there's a new thing like this that affects me, I don't want to when things now happen, that's when I'll now be asking questions like what happened? Well, how can I keep do you have a suggestion? Like, for example, this stamp duty, when it came out, I'm sure the central bank released some seculars or the FIRS yeah. released a secular. Yeah. How can the average Nigerian access this? Is it that we should be checking FIRS website every day or we should... What, what are your tips to the average Nigerian to help them? Because you just mentioned that it's very important for people to keep in, to know what's going on. And I, I agree. I want to... I am passionate. I want to do... I want to know. But just tell me. Hand, hold me. Let me know so, how to keep in touch with stuff like this. So, um, first of all, if you want to stay informed about everything financial, you should definitely follow Victory and watch our financial uh, Jaga Jaga series. Okay. <laughs> Free <Yeah. advice. laughs> But speaking of that, we're a millennial generation. Some people call us social media generation. Everything is on social media now. Okay. So if, if you don't have time to listen to radio or read news or watch TV or whatever. It's very easy. A lot of these organizations have Twitter, Twitter handles. They have social media pages on Facebook. The CBN um, Twitter handle is very active, so you can start by following CBN, following FRS, mm. following Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, following... People are showing wisdom. Uh, are showing wisdom. Try. So following all those agencies. They, they tweet the mm. activities. National, the National Assembly has a Twitter and do they tweet their activities regularly. So it's so, it so help... would do something. Tobin, do you know the handles of fund? I don't know the handles of fund, but they they okay. share quite Maybe a bit I of information. I, I mean okay. it, it's easier it's is it's easy. I mean a lot of us are on social media, I'm sure more people spend time on Twitter or, or Instagram or whatever okay. than they ever spend spend um Reading, reading a book every day or something. But... Exactly. Okay, so, so now you mentioned what are the key people to follow to know all these new laws, all these new things as it affects the Nigerian. So you mentioned Central Bank Twitter handle, F FIRS Twitter handle. Which one again did you say I should follow? You can follow the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics. Okay. Nigerian Bureau follow... of Statistics. And you can follow the National Assembly. And there are some, um, this thing, um, political figures that keep an active social media presence. You can also follow them okay. to know what they are doing in the government. They actually talk about what they do in the government a lot. Mm -hmm. So it helps you keep abreast of what's happening. And for those that are not uh, maybe into social media, you can visit their websites. You can just try and listen to radio. So, you have to, so now I have to take I think matters into my own hands and get informed. I don't have yeah, to it, just be there. Things will be happening. I won't understand. You understand? Yeah, so I, have to, I have to take matters into my hands. So guys, if I put out a video on financial jaga jaga, you have to watch, you have to share, you have to comment. Anyway, let me just quickly check questions. Okay, it is your just keep talking. Yeah. I said it is your responsibility to be informed. If you are not informed, the day they say an, an uninformed man is a deformed person. So, hey, it's not. <laughs> so if you if you are not informed, people take you for a ride, and you could lose a lot. Mm -hmm. True, true, true. Okay, so someone said I am moving from my bank to Kolo. No stamp duty there. <laughs> what do you think? 
this is even a perfect question. So I know that the central bank, so this is related to this statement that he said, I am moving from my bank to Kolo, no stamp duty there. I know that the central bank of Nigeria, they are very passionate about what is thing called cashless policy and yeah. um, financial inclusion. They want yeah. everybody to come into the banking sector. They don't want a situation where one trader somewhere has money in his house, he's not using the bank. They, they want to be able to see all the money that is available in Nigeria so that they can do proper calculations, do proper estimates when they are planning for the budget, right? So now, this whole stamp duty thing, don't you think it is, do you think it's going to affect the central bank's plan on trying to make sure that people are cashless? Like, when I say cash, I'm not saying you know have money. I'm saying that, like, you know need to be carrying big money around. You probably be using your ATM, POS, things like that. But all these things, because there's, there's even POS charge, there's so many charges. Like, I'm paying so much tax. For crying out loud, I'm, I'm paying tax and it's annoying. So, as in, I... Okay, one it, question. It, you get my question? So, so, yeah, I get your question. People say tax is supposed to be painful so that you, you would... <laughs> That's what some I said some people say that's some people believe so that you it will allow you to be interested in what they are using the money for so it will in, in, improve your participation in government. But for your question of um, whether it will discourage cash cashless policy, it could because, because someone I, is saying they are moving money from bank to colo. What does I mean, that even mean? <laughs> because it may, so lots of people maybe it's just. 9k or maybe it's 10k they have in their accounts and the, the atm is beside their house instead of transferring and they want to give their neighbor money instead of transferring 10k and the person will get 9,000 9, 9, naira, they will walk mm. to the bank withdraw the 10k and give the 10k so it has discouraged cashless policy in a way so for micro savers or people with little balances it, it, it could discourage them from using the electronic platforms for their transactions so does this sorry does this mean that if i'm withdrawing 10k they will not charge me it's only when i transfer and receive their electronic platform that will charge me stamp duty yes only when you transfer so if you go to the See, okay, okay. i think this is going to affect the cashless policy because i mean it, it's i don't know it just makes sense so because anyway i guess what you're saying so let's say you are a financial consultant which you are and then there's hey, like a business I'm not too. <laughs> those things that be not as though they are anyway a financial consultant someone has come to meet you that or you you are supposed to advise a businessman on how to manage this whole tax thing what would be your advice like i don't know just what to a trader because what i'm saying what i'm saying is as a trader you probably be paying so much because when you make profits you still pay tax VAT is there so how, how can they manage this whole situation? Is there something they can do or just something they should just live by and probably get more involved in the government? So one thing you can do is reduce your transaction count. So for example, if, if you want to transfer money or you have, transaction count now. If you have uh, several transfers to make, mm -hmm. maybe you could batch them all together and transfer mm -hmm. it as bulk that instead of transferring 500k 50 times you transfer 500k once that reduce your cost but i mean okay. it's difficult if you have several beneficiaries that mm. need that money so it's it's really it's a really impossible situation for a lot of business people mm. so i think another way would be to to talk to a proper consultant on what you can do about this because like a task consultant yeah a task consultant what you can do about the whole double taxation collecting electronic it's charges true. collecting stamp duty collecting cashless collecting deposit and withdrawal charges mm. okay and I, I saw, so I saw some just... comments about people saying atm is this thing <laughs> atm is, yeah, let me is the way now quickly. Wait, let me read through the comments quickly. So someone said, I asked earlier, is it for inflows? Is it only for inflows into the account? I think we've answered that now. So it's not just for inflows. If, you, if you're receiving money, 10,000 10, and above, 
right? Or you are transferring money, 10000 and above. As long as that money you are transferring is not to your second account in the same bank. Once you are transferring the money to another bank or another person in your bank, you get charged 15 naira per 10,000 transfer that you do, right? No, so the best uh, thing is, okay, um, you're going to the, say something. Yeah, you don't get, it's the recipients that get charged. Mm. You get that. So if I transfer to you, Victory, if I transfer 10 yeah. to you, you will be mm -hmm. debited 15 naira for that transfer. You that you are transferring, you will not be debited. No. Oh, okay. Then I, I probably had it wrong. Yeah. Because I thought it was so, two ways, which is why I was asking that. So if I borrow some, if I give somebody ten thousand, they would they would charge. Um. Okay, I think it's the same thing because I'll be a recipient the second time. Yeah. So let me quickly yeah, just read through. Whoever says FIRS go hot this period, Sha. <laughs> well, what do you think about that? FIS revenue is definitely increasing. That they have been given a mandate to increase tax revenue because Nigeria yeah, is doing poorly. Is doing poorly in that regard. Lots of lots of countries are far ahead of Nigeria for tax revenue. Okay, um, I received three deposits via transfer on RGE to Infica. I was taxed one fifty. Uh, where is that? Yeah, so I, I, as, I, as I was saying, some people are saying ATM is the way, or I'll just withdraw and pay in, I'll go to the bank, you know. But you, you're not thinking of the opportunity cost of your time and energy for 15 years. Walking under the sun, walking under the sun to the to the ATM to go and do that transaction. It turns so, out I'm way back, Chai. Sorry, keep talking. Hi, PK. Seems we should go back to digging holes and saving our funds. Guys, come on now. Okay, so Daniel said something. Daniel said, the system is not wired to help the regular Nigerian. No. It, is to, it, is to, it is to keep people exactly where they are. Do you agree with this? However, <laughs> I agree. Because, because mismanagement of funds is the order of the day in Nigeria. I tell you, my people. Uh, color day join high color day if you are still here or more if it is so each transfer is taxed on general from both sides Nigeria Lee just okay so Toby has corrected that it's only the recipients that is charged please guys um to dig hole remain who are these different people what's their WhatsApp group <laughs> I think that was when you said they should they should follow all these people um no, no, I, is I it think standard it's, it's, I think I was referring to when I sent the electronic this thing, electronic oh. tra transfer charges when they that is shared th th between different people. Oh, okay, 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 that makes yeah. sense. Is it stamp duty when you transfer or when you receive funds above ten k? Because you said transfer charges differ from stamp duty. I think we've spoken to this no. now. It's when you receive. Um, okay, so if, no. So if I receive, transfer hundred yeah. k to you in tranches of ten thousand. You pay five hundred mm. naira because that's okay. Because I'll be charging fifty fifty naira on every ten 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 thousand. Yeah, and it's only the person receiving that will pay the money, guys. Please, yes. I'm clarifying that so that everybody lives with that right opinion. Mm. Um, Ugo says, okay, no wala. Let's relocate to blockchain and personal banking. Their wala is too much. E banking, e banking up and down. Cashless policy. I beg, I need to revive my ancestors' method. Uh, no comments. Turn on post notification. How do I do that? Uh, okay, I don't know. There's something I read I read daily called Treasury Market Watch from Access Bank. It helps quite a lot. Oh, okay. So um, B is actually saying that there's actually something called Treasury Market Watch from Access Bank. So I think now we're talking about how the average Nigerian can stay informed, right? So um, how can someone get... Do you, how can someone get so okay guys if, if you're interested in receiving the treasury market watch from access bank just leave a comment like yes or something or no send me a dm after the live and yes yeah, send me your email address and we'll add you to the list that received the market watch um twitter care it's my money for data they collected that stamp 
<laughs> we feel attacked. We can't, we can't relate anymore because I wasn't paying attention when they said this. Kolo all the way. Now Kolo the rain. Guys, come on now. For me, banks no rate us. All these deductions on my money. It is not banks that ducting your money. It's the government. Be angry with the government. Hold their neck. Yeah, Tell them to ex- ex- exactly. Tell them to and I think, I think that... <laughs> I, th- I think that's one th- key thing people should get. The stamp duty is not the bank that is taking. The money is not for the bank. The money doesn't take with the bank. The bank just collects the money and sends it to the, the federal government. government through FIRS, the Federal Inland Revenue Service. So all the money that you're seeing goes to the federal government, to the owner of all the land in Nigeria. So be angry with them. Call your senator. Call your house of oh, remember that. that. I, do- I don't like this stamp duty. I don't like it's this not, not Okay, but do you know how people can change laws in Nigeria? Oh, maybe that's a conversation for another because me, I don't know. <laughs> um, Kolo 2020. <laughs> 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 I remember saying Kolo 2021. I said she's running for presidency. We pay for, we pay so much tax and we aren't seeing the dividend. Like, we don't see where it's entering. It's so discouraging. Guy, I feel your pain. Like, I wish I could open my chest. Like, Okay, I didn't mean that literally. Oh, like, no, but I don't get to just like show you how much it pains me because I feel like Niger- I don't feel I know I know that Nigeria is a country with so much potential. Like, we have money, we have we have things, we have resources, but we don't know what's happening. So- that that the, uh, you think of the opportunity cost of your time and energy going to the ATM yeah. to go and yeah, do that transaction. Is- so you want to maybe you want to transfer to your account in another bank. If you have yeah. an account in two banks, you go to the ATM mm-hmm. of one bank, withdraw it, then go to the other bank and deposit it. How much time on energy would you use to do that? Okay, so guys, um, we we are we are getting to the end of this thing. If you have any more, I'm just going through the comments now to see if there's any other thing that we've not touched right now. Um, it's supposed to be a short session, but let me just quickly scan through. This Tobe seems like a smart person. Can we get his details? Yeah, Tobe, they are shooting short, though. You can follow it's me on Instagram. Good. My okay. handle is tobe.i underscore. That's Please T-O-B. type it, type it. That's T-O-B-E. Okay. Just drop it at the comment here. But Tobe, your account is private now. How do people now follow you? In, in, you know, um, people, a lot of people use social media for identity theft mm-hmm. nowadays. So it helps me to weed out the real individuals from <laughs> from rob, robot accounts. B is saying you probably work with a lot of smart people. What do you have to say to that? I agree. I've I've met a lot of smart people at my workplace, and Thank they you. have impacted my life. The sun is good for photosynthesis. I'm interested. Yes, please add me. So okay, someone, is an- asking what is, what is, someone is asking what is postal stamp duty. So postal stamp yes. duty is, is still the same idea of stamp duty. So when you, you want to use the postal service, mm-hmm. they, you pay for a stamp. So that stamp just says the postal service has received your letter and they will send it. So it's like your payment for the service. So it's just the same thing. They, that that um that stamp. I don't know maybe anyone saw letters from our parents' days, whether you saw the envelope, there's literally a stamp of like a like there was like a tiny picture or something. People used to pay for that. Mm. That was what it cost postal stamp duty. Oh I see. So it's not related to um this banking thing, Abby. It's not related to this banking thing, but it's a form of stamp duty too. Okay, I'm just going to look through all the thing questions I wrote down to ensure that we didn't miss anything. So guys, you can okay. still drop your question, but this has really been an insightful session. I will not like um let me see. I think we basically touched on everything I had in mind and even more stuff. So, guys, we've come to the end of, in the absence of any further questions or comments, we've come to the end. Uh, this, so was let, let, like, yeah, this was such a Yeah, this was an amazing victory. And yeah. let, let me apologize for my, um, I don't know. We cannot situation. see your face. Can we yeah. see it? Can we go inside it? 
I'm sorry about that. I don't know. My, my light is on, but it doesn't seem to be bright enough. Oh, wow. So people are leaving now. Let's let's just do a final I, shout out. So guys, follow me. Follow me if you are not following me. If I drop content on finance, please, I beg you. Do you know, like, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of work put into content creation. Like, you have to research and stuff like that. So please like it, comment, share with your friends. You have to just have that passion to make people know stuff, right? So, guys, let's let's do this together. We have to take responsibility into our hands to be informed and do our best. So, Toby, what are your last words to the people? Um, yeah, welcome everyone, and I'm I'm, I'm very happy to be here. And yes, you're welcome. Oh,